actually picked this up. It was kind of a barn find. It's a 1970 Yamaha G6S. It's 80 cc's. It's a two-stroke engine. It has auto lube function for the oil to mix in with the fuel so you actually don't have to pre-mix it to put it in to the fuel tank. As far as I know, it's almost all original. Um, pieces like this, the air filter, and on the other side, and I think the rear fender have been chrome plated previously. All the lights work. The blinkers, I think the relay's out, but the lights turn on, but they don't blink. The horn works and is very high pitch. Still has the original air filter in there. The battery is in here. Looks like somebody did a wiring job on it though at some point. They only made this for one year production. They're pretty rare find. Uh, it's really cool that we found one. I really like it. It's an old style. It's a cafe racer basically. It runs. The throttle needs to be adjusted a little. Actually all we've done so far is um, we've replaced the oil. The clutch was stuck. Um, I think Replacing the, the oil, um, it's a wet clutch, so replacing the oil I think really helped lubricate everything up again and we just jammed it into gear a few times and it finally sprung open to where we could actually clutch with the handle, with the lever, and it respond. Um, so that was really nice. Um, we got a new spark plug for it, put new fuel. Um, we haven't put new oil, going to put new oil in for the oil and fuel mixture. The pump still works for the oil though. Um, it's running really rich right now and that's one of the issues and the second issue right now is that the throttle cable is getting stuck. Um, so that's not good. Um, so those are two things that we're going to fix. Um, once we get it running correctly, we're going to try and polish up all the chrome and get the paint to look a, a little bit nicer. Um, this is the original paint scheme, the blue and white. So let's see if we can start it up so you can hear it. Just a little bit of oil, Tyler? Just a little bit, yeah. Oh my gosh, you could smell it. Yeah. So also what we found um, is because it's running so rich, I think the, oh yeah, you can see it. See all this black right here? It's all oil. That's coming out of the exhaust. Yeah, it's dripping out of the exhaust on the bottom here. And then also over where it comes out of the head. Uh, baby, it's dripping fuel. We have some things to fix on it. It's kind of fun to fiddle with because I personally have never worked with any kind of a carburetor. And this one's got a very unique system because you don't have to mix the two stroke oil together. This tank is actually the two stroke oil and you just fill it with fuel. There's a pump in here that actually mixes them together right before it, it gets put into the engine itself. And we have a service manual about it, everything like that, and it doesn't say anything on adjusting it itself. There's your carburetor, but here is the actual oil pump. So if you look at the teeth here, when you kick it, this actually spins. But it's getting way too much fuel. We've been fiddling with this for the past couple days. Not knowing what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. It's really fun to ride. And the tires are old, but they hold air. So that's 
a good sign. I mean, the fact that it starts as well is always good. It just needs some love. It's been sitting for a very long time. That's our new toy. We'll keep you posted on how it goes.